Hey everybody, Dear Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Rain the Fleur. We are on Louis's second part, or well, we are on the second part of our first visit with Louis, that is. We aren't on anybody's official path yet. We're still pursuing Leon, but we have to visit each night, so this is our obligatory visit with Louis. So let's work on filling up his grace, shall we? And try not to fall for his princely charms along the way. Alright, you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. He was just thanking us for picking him amongst all of the invitations we received, but that's kind of funny that all the guys say that because we have to visit all of them anyway. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Louie, but yeah, you're not exactly special. I will do my best to be sincere so that our time together shall be fruitful for both of us. Yes, it is very nice to meet you. Perhaps this is not the right moment to ask, I have the feeling that he will just dance around my question. I have heard a lot of things about him, and the most important things are... Which information do you want to use? I hate it when they say, I've heard a lot of things about him, because you haven't! You've really only heard two important things about him. <laughs> Alright, so we want to use, obviously, uh, Uranami. Well, wait, just just to say, Louis here says, um, he said he would be sincere to make our meeting fruitful. And Oronami's here says, Louis seems to have no compunctions about abandoning his body, family, and belongings. And NJ says, do not take his words at face value, remain suspicious. So we're going with Oronami and NJ. The only two useful ones here. And yes, I am certain that is what I want. Well, let's give this a try. I have prepared enough now. I hope it will go well. Welcome, princess. I have been longing for this day. Same here. Thank you for the invitation, Louis. Yes, you are particularly lovely today. Even flowers in full bloom would be jealous of your beauty. Thank you, uh, but that's a bit of an exaggeration. Oh, this is very unusual. It is worth coming here to see Princess so flustered. I am not! It is inappropriate to tease one so pure, Oronami. She is quite charming. Oh, who started teasing her first? Oh, I wasn't teasing her at all. I merely spoke the truth. Okay, okay, you're right. Thank you for listening to me. They appear to be acting like best friends, but I feel like something is wrong. Anyway, it is inconvenient to stand around here, so please, allow me to escort you inside, princess. Marionette is pouring some tea. I would like you to enjoy it while it is hot. Yes, please. I would love some. As Louis said, Marionette was waiting for me in the room. She prepares tea for Louis and I, and then... Well, we won't trouble you two further. Enjoy! Madam, sir. Suddenly, the room becomes silent. Just the two of us. I can't help but feel nervous. Er, uh, this mansion seems to be well kept. It is. I really love this mansion. It's gorgeous. A lot of the backgrounds in this game are gorgeous, but... I particularly love his house. It's just really beautiful. It looks very French. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know a whole lot about architecture or, or interior design, but uh, it reminds me of the Palace of Versailles or something, as far as I can think in my head. It's beautiful, whatever it is. When I first stepped in, I was mesmerized. Nothing is better than pleasing the princess. The successive generations of Southern Knights have renovated this mansion, 
by combining the unique styles and trends of the time. So, to preserve the tradition, I will eventually introduce my favorite styles as well. I see. That is wonderful. Uh, I shouldn't allow pauses in the conversation. What else can I talk about? Don't be so nervous, princess. You accepted the offer to rub shoulders with me, I hope. I, too, would love to grow closer to you and have a meaningful time. We will never get anywhere if we are both nervous, and don't you think? Yes, you are right. I nodded and sipped at my tea. The warmth of it gradually seeps into my body, and the aroma helps to calm my nerves. Thank you, Louis. So, shall we begin? Time to start Ravia. Starting Revia. Winner condition, be sincere and don't get sidetracked by Louis's words. Don't be seduced by his compliments. This time is especially for you. Don't hesitate to ask me anything. Well, how has life in Partadam been treating you? Are you feeling tired or stressed out from these unfamiliar surroundings? Not at all. Life has been truly comfortable here. Unlike life in the land, there is no race against time or struggle for social standing. It seems like the other knights had their own opinions. But I believe this place agrees with me quite well. So there is nothing for Princess to worry about. If that is so, that is good. But... NJ told me to be a little suspicious about what Louis says. Is that really so? Oh, do I look suspicious? That's not what I meant. I was just curious to know if you like part of Dom or not. Oh, of course, I love it all. Everything is wonderful as far as the eye can see. It is absolutely boundless. Nothing comes before Princess, of course. Since you are the sovereign leader of this paradise. How I respond to this will depend on whether or not I believe what he has told me. What should I do in this case? We will do the left one, which says, agree. oh, ask more. The right one says, appreciate. So that was the right answer. That's very nice to know. But what in particular draws your attention? Particularly? Well, for instance, what is your favorite scenery here? What does it look like? How does it make you feel? I would like to know. Hmm. Very good question. But there are too many to decide on only one. However, I would say that wherever you are, that would be the best place to me. You and your flattery. Your answer... It is a bit off point, isn't it? So... There is nothing here that has truly drawn your interest. I take his silence as a yes. Dear Louis, I would love to know more about you, but your answer it makes me feel like something is off. You speak as if it's someone else's business. You avoid specifics. How can I put it? You sound insincere to me. I don't really know if what you are saying is what you truly mean. I assume that you feel nothing for anything apart to Dom. Okay, and that is where we end this video. So that's our second part with Louis here. Although, you know, our first part with actually talking to him. In the next video, we will finish our little verbal battle. We will not succumb to your charms, Louis. I never really did care for the princely characters quite so much anyway. Well, I don't know. They have their time and place. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. I don't really care for Louis' disinterested attitude here. <laughs> But I did really like um, 
what's his name from Oran High School Host Club, uh, the blonde guy. I can't think of his name right. Suo, whatever his name is. Ta ta Tamaki. I love I love Tamaki from that one, and he's a princely kind of character, but you know, in a silly way. <laughs> But I really liked him a lot. Alright, well anyway, that's the end of this video. And I hope to see you in some of my future videos. I'd be grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me. And I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye bye everybody.